everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So, uh, let's have a quick look at the barracks first before we start. I have an idea of what mission we're going to take today, but I want to have a look at the barracks to see how we're doing experience-wise. Ah, yes, nice. So, uh, granted, we can bring up one level here. Going to go for gunnery for Training sure. Uh, Griff, how are we doing? Commander. Yep, gunnery again. Training confirmed. It's one of the things you've been suffering on here is gunnery. So, uh, Killjoy, we'll bring some gunnery up. Mech warrior training. Uh, Mothman, we're going to leave for now um, because he's not really doing anything at the moment. Uh, do we have him? In, no, we don't have him in the battle yet, do we? Oh, he's been in the Cloudbuster once, but only because Killjoy was out of action, I believe. Her affinities are like gone. I think there's, I think there was an is issue with affinities. Wait a minute. Wait, she's the mech. I don't know what's going on. Right, you're the hunchback pilot, but I thought you were. Oh no, we lost them. Um... All right, Mothman. Um, he was in the Cloudbuster there for a bit. Let's just leave him for now. And then we've got Puka, who is general has been like moved to the Cloudbuster, right? Right, because didn't we put Sturm on the Zoria? No, Sturm's been the Hunchback. Who did we put on the Zoria? No, it was her. She's gone back and forth, that's right. So let's go with Gunnery again here. Training complete. And then I think we will bring Mothman's Gunnery up. Confirm Training that. Confirmed, Commander. And then we've got Sturm. You've got another point here. You're piloting the Hunchback. We definitely want to go here. And we definitely want to go focus fire for the minus recoil and confirm that. Actually, we want to go uh, in tactics, I believe, to get the extra point of initiative. So we'll go that route. Mech warrior training complete. Excellent. Now, uh, command center. We are going with this one right here today. Uh, Lance of local government battle max is rampaging through our territory. Battle in the desert. Let's see how we do. Um, let's go full salvage. We should be fine. We're bringing it. We're bringing everybody today. Uh, let's got everybody up. Yep, let's go. Um, wait a minute. You're back now, so let's bring you back into the cloud buster here. Wait, what? Oh, who did we? What did we do here? You were out for quite a while, weren't you? Or did we just, I don't know. Or am I thinking her? I'm thinking her. Right, we just hired Killjoy. You know, you think I know this, I just, but I haven't recorded in a bit because I, I record in batches, right? So, yeah, we'll leave, let's bring Mothman down. We'll leave him on the Cloudbuster. We want her on the Zoria from a distance. So we'll go that route. Let's just go. Command interface initiated. Ooh, okay, this map. Gonna be a tough fight, eh? Um. Hmm. It's not what I thought it was. Uh. That's interesting. I don't actually recognize this map. Huh. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, normally you start up here and move this like stuff over here. But it looks like they've got reinforcements down here. Wait, that's the edge. Never mind. That's the edge of the map. So there's nothing there. So they are just right in here. Okay, well, it's an open space battlefield. Let's start back here then. That looks good to me. Sure. Got a bit of cover. Some trees, a little bit of hills. Ooh. All right, what do we got here? Commando. I think there's a, what is this, a blackjack? Rifleman. It's probably the 50 tonner though. Another commando. All right. That's probably like a heavy chem laser or something. 
three commandos and a rifleman. Well, uh, let's try and make short work of these guys then. They all go before me. Interesting. Okay. Yes, Commander. Um. Let's get our flank on. It's kind of what we do best in this thing. And I'm going to keep my heat at neutral if I can. Searchlight effect today. Eh? We'll go with this. Try and stay, stay nice and light for the first couple turns. Alright, we got one on. Not bad. One out of four ain't bad, especially at 23%. They got reinforcements. Nope. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Yep. Hi, Sturm Tiger. Let's get into here. Stay in the trees as long as we can. Uh. Sure. I'm on it. At least they didn't hesitate this time with the narc. Adjusting targeting. I think um, Rogue Tech's gone with gone through one or two updates since I played I, uh, Lost. So um, I know there's been a fair bit of improvement. I haven't really checked what the change logs are. Most of it's just tweaks and stuff. So yeah, I forgot to mention I did change the loadout in the Talos. I pulled out the um, the MM the MMLs. And put it in the Thunderbolt 10 just to give it a try, just to see if this can be uh, a nice longer ranged um, weapon here. Weapon platform. I hear you. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I'm not I'm not convinced it was the right move, but we're going to take it and see it. how it goes. And I, the Griffin, no people have been making several different suggestions of what I should do with it. And I appreciate all of them. I still haven't thought about exactly how I'm going to do it yet, but... We'll figure it out eventually. Uh, let's just leave these guys off. Go this route, see if we can get a shot on this guy. Right, Commander. Wasn't expecting that laser to hit. Couldn't get that lucky. I'm here. Alright, let's get the Zoria into position. Get to do what it does best. Alright, from up here. It's not a bad chance. Take a shot. Ooh. Panic them a bit. Standing by. Let's bring the cloud buster over here. So they can't really get a flank on us at all. And we'll go after the same guy. I want to keep the keep the uh keep the pressure on this guy. Bon nice. Alright, see what they do. See what they do. We may be able to get a flank and spank on that rifleman, which would kind of be nice. Yeah, you're running. So those are... they got to be chem lasers. That's a quick cell version, right? Yeah, quick cell too. So they're probably like maybe medium chem lasers, like medium heavy chem lasers or something. They're not bad. I mean, the chem lasers are like pretty close to the regular lasers, with the exception that you got to carry ammo for them. But they're a little lighter, so overall the weight is a little higher. I think, I think it's like 25% higher for most things. But you got to carry ammo, right? So, but the heat is a lot lower, which is good. Like the, I, I just take I took a look at the the uh, quick cell, large, large, heavy laser, which does 80 damage but only 36 heat. Range of 600 meters, but you got to carry ammo, right? So, and it was six tons, I think, which is which is actually pretty good. Um, hmm. No matter what we do here, I think it's going to get. Uh, Yeah, 
And if we miss, we hit our own guy in the back, though. That's the thing I hate about that. And then we lose like 7% chance to hit here. He's going on 13. If we reserve, he's going to go before us. So we either go after him or we don't. So let, oh, that's actually not bad there. It puts us in the open, which means we take more damage if we get hit. But I think that's probably a good positioning right there. We are going to take a shot at this guy. going to throw these on and the sensors. Because we're going to duck behind this rock in a second. So I don't mind taking the extra heat at the moment. Yeah, this is the big one again. Yeah, the sensors. All right. Ooh, that's actually nice to land around this guy too. So it's really just this guy at last that's left to go. It's backing up. Okay, interesting. Waiting for orders. Let's push then. Confirm. Now the question is, do we clear this guy out first? I think so. We got a better chance to hit here. Um, yeah. Roger. Nice. Nice. Hey. Got past the armor. Take a shot at this guy. Firing. I hope you See ya. Enemy down. See ya. Orders. Discount Omni Mech Crit. Goodbye. The Talos is so slow, that's why I thought the Thunderbolt might be a good play on this guy. That's actually 50, 54 on all these guys with the Thunderbolt. But we can fire more at this guy. I think we fire at this guy then. Oh, he's got a 6 and a 4 in him, eh? All right, see what happens. That's a miss. Pretty much everything. Order. Um, let's keep these guys from getting away. It's all low chances to hit no matter what we do here. You want to come around the rifleman, though? Doesn't really matter, so let's come around the rifleman, I think. That'll give us enough evasion and, and such to be able to just pot shot this guy. And then I still think we don't go full out yet. We'll wait. Maybe scare him back into the battlefield. Alright. I'm here. All right, Mothman Prophecy. 61, eh? 67. This guy's... This guy's got the uh, targeting, baby. Let's go for the side shot. It's probably better for damage. All, the buttons. all right, we got one on. I'll take it. They're utilizing the trees nicely here, too, which is excellent. The AI improvements are just amazing. They've done a great job. The Rotec people have done a wonderful job with the uh, with the AI improvements. In a way, it's I don't want he you hesitate to say, oh, it's making the enemy too tough because it's really trying to get them as close to another player. Sometimes doing unconventional things is kind of where you want to go with it, but you want them to be a little bit predictable too. At the same time, but I mean, I don't know. I, I, I just, I'm liking the way the AI has been playing. They attempt to do flank and spanks. You know, the later mechs will try, uh, try to, to flank you, which is great. You know? Look at them. But well, they're all clumped up now, so it's... But still, they, they do a really good job of um, trying to maximize the terrain they're in, too. It's really nice. Commander. Really nice! All right, taser face. Taser face. Uh, let's actually reserve you. Ready for 
because we're going to be l l putting a lot of uh, lead down range here in a second, so I'd rather have you not behind them when I'm doing that. <laughs> End up hitting our own guy a fair bit here. That's not bad. 66 on this guy, so we're going to go this way, see if we can hit with this uh, Thunderbolt. Engage. Ah, finally, nice. Good damage. Scored a critical hit. Yes, Commander. Nope. Uh, you're reserving. Ready for orders. Uh, let's stay on their flank here. Moving to position. Keep them keep them trapped in this one location here. I think is the best way to go. And let's go after the same guy here. Welcome, to my alpha strike. Yeah, two hits. Waiting Only on one on the guy we wanted, but that's fine. That's all right. Let's do this. You betcha. We're going to target this guy, leaving this off. Let's put the bolt on. Well, the bolt on rockets are only 15%. They haven't got much left, so let's just go with it. Tell me what you do. I had a little bit of extra punch on this guy. And the sensors. All out of short range missiles, Commander. Yes, yeah, I. Right. I'm here. You don't need them anyway. Let's see if we can get another kill here. Firing. Yep. <laughs> two for two. Mech destroyed. See, this is how you should use those Zorias, right? Don't let them get close. Just let them stay That's back. Not. It's what I was hoping to eventually do with them. Um, and the Ares is just use Got them as long-range firepower and not even have them close in the battle. But we don't have them anymore, unfortunately. Sad face. Um... It's the same on both of these guys. So let's go after the commando. Maybe we get that leg. Alright, one hit. The heavy did. Nice. Order. Now you can go. Wait, do we have anybody left? No, that was just Sturm, right? Yeah. Alright. Everything's in range here. Close range. And if we miss this guy, we might hit the other guy in the back. Screw you! Good to go. Ah, not so good. No short range missiles remaining. I really want that guy to bail out. I could actually use this rifleman right about now. Oh, he's got large laser tronals, eh? But four medium hard point or four laser hard points isn't bad. Gonna leave your rifleman friend there, are ya? What can I do for you? Just gonna leave him behind. Um, there's no way to get a side shot in that guy, eh? Can we get down there? Oh, we can. Let's get around beside that uh, that uh, commando. Forty-seven with the large. We can leave these off for. Uh, sake of heat. Uh -huh. Man, okay. Large laser's gotta go. <laughs> it's just gotta go. It never hits when you want it to. And then when it does hit, it's always hitting like big armor locations or it's... Yeah, whatever. Hmm. It tickled. Did it? Good to go. Glad somebody found it funny. Let's keep on that commando. I think we can kill that guy from behind, the uh, rifleman. Plus he's overheating. Let's throw these on, see what we can get. Nope. Two rockets though. Shredded the side. Nice. Got past his armor. SRMs. Right. Yeah, at this at this lower level you really want weapons that aren't like big one shots you really want something that's gonna just um, that uh, that's gonna hit so having the multiple uh, like oh, SRMs no. or medium lasers or Show whatever you can do face. you're just better off even though you're not doing like large amounts of damage at least you're getting the kill you know Commander. all right let's see if we can end this that's not bad 
It's going to put us over in heat, but that could be a kill. Um, yeah, let's go with the let's we'll go with the heat overage. Engaging. Come on, bail out. Solid connection, that one. Nope, Come not going to bail out, eh? Hey. And we attack the guy that's standing because the guy that's lying down is not going to be going until next turn, till the end of next turn. So. Copy that. Firing alpha strike. Critical hit, Commander. Yes, Commander. And we don't need to move. Same thing. Firing all weapons. Do the math, Chief. One less target. You got that right. Orders. Somebody stole your kill, so let's go steal their kill. Moving to position. Let's finish this guy off. Um, uh, let's go for the. Uh, uh, let's go for the leg. Go that route. Affirmative. Bail out. Nope. I hear you. See if we can get him to bail out. Got it. Want some more? There you go. Mission successful. All right. So a good little bit of a little bit of payout there. We kind of got lucky in that mission, which is nice. We didn't really have anything that was too dangerous. Um, I don't really want the mech parts. I mean the. The rifleman might be interesting, but let's see what's down here. Compact life support. Half a ton. And doesn't affect anything. Well, that's interesting. Duralast. Quick sell. Minus 5% damage taken, but plus 20% armor weight. That's interesting. Ferro fibrous. We have one. Uh, ooh, a six-ton mace. Who was car I guess it was one of the, um, yeah, one of the, uh, commandos was carrying this thing. Melee attacks, search light, is not bad. Well, we could take this for sea bills. Because we need money, so let's grab that. And I don't think there's anything else that's really expensive. I mean, the peel and stick armors, it's the hard, those are just like hard gel, you just drop them in a location. Uh, how much is this worth? That's not bad. And that's worth a lot. Hmm. Yeah, as much as I hate to say it, I think I'm going to end up selling that because we are in a situation where we need sea bills. So let's confirm this. We got one, two, three, four, five commando parts, but I think the quick sell versions don't merge with these guys, so I don't think it counts. Agra lasers, lasers can go. Medium Rex lasers. Those are like the X pulses, right? Kind of thing. Yeah. We lost ours off of the uh, Cephalus. Two recoil, though. That's pretty hefty recoil. We'll keep that. Keep that. Uh, we'll definitely keep that and that. Five heat sinks can go. Yeah, they did lower the price of heat sinks. They're just like dirt cheap. They're like almost worthless. Uh, I'm gonna hang on to the, the the quick sell double heat sinks because we might get into that later on. We're gonna sell that because we need the money. Much as I hate to do it. Now we should have enough for our financial report. All right, so not bad. Let's just quickly jump into the... Uh, uh, we'll get this repaired anyway. And we'll quickly take another mission because I think we can. Three days, right? Job's done, Commander. Thank you. Let's just double check to make sure we've got no issues. None at all. And then we'll get our pilots back and go again. All right. Um, now, Command Center. We've got a few here. These guys here aren't too bad. This is a capture base. Um, we want it to be, to be quick, so let's go after this one. We're probably only going to get one lance, but we're going to go for the max salvage here. Drop everything. Let's deploy and go. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. 
Let's see if we can drop right on the base like we always do. It would be nice if we could. Yep, we can start this one right away. So let's just put our guys like right here. That makes things easy. Most likely the reinforcements will come from across here. It's been a while since I played on this map. It's nice that we're getting our uh, a bunch of maps now that I haven't played on in a while. Um, okay, so let's get you in the trees here. And then the griffin, we can't quite get in there, eh? Alright, fair enough. Let's get you in here, though. Copy that. And we'll move you here. On my way. And the vehicles, I think we'll bring them I'm both going. up this way. Okay, let's go. Worst case scenario, they appear behind us, which is bad. But we'll find out here in a second. All right, they should show up here soon. Normally, like I said, they show up on this side, but I don't know for sure if that's what's going to happen. Position confirmed. You betcha. I'm gonna try and take these high ground over here if we can. I'm your spaniel. Advancing. All right. Probably got two more turns. Move into position. Uh -huh. I'm banking on them coming from this direction, but like I said, you never know, right? On my way. We'll keep you guys down behind the hill. Moving to position. Heads up. There we go. You've got hostile yep, here they come. Inbound. And we got lucky again. Excellent. Oh, great. Battle armor. Double PPCs. That guy we can keep nice and hot. What's this guy? R68. That's the mortar version, I believe. Ooh, that's nice. Somebody recommended, and I apologize because I always have a hard time remembering who says what. Somebody mentioned that maybe um, if we get a couple of mortars, Confirm. it might be nice to uh, load up the hunchback later uh, in later game and use a couple mortars on it. Use it as a fire support platform. I think that's a great idea. It actually might come earlier than late game. Let's go this guy. And firing. Ooh, nice. We hit. All right, well. Uh, let's just hold off for a second. I live to serve. Don't want to get you up there just yet. Get into here. I am the wind. We'll keep on that uh, urban mech with the PPCs here. And switching to standard, firing. Primitive. There goes the leg. This? this just in. Critical hit. Alright. Yes, Commander. Ah, let's reserve you. Starm T got it. Understood. Moving fast. Get up the hill, baby. Now, we've got Good range on this guy. Let's see if we can go after this leg. Locked on target. Or we can blow his arm off. That works too. That hit something good. Maybe he'll bail out. Oh. I thought the R68 was the mortar version. Am I thinking the 67? So far so good. No, I'm, I'm sure the R-68 was the mortar version. Pedal to the metal. Forty-seven. That's not bad. Although, let's go for a head hit on this guy. Drop some sensors down there too, because you never know they may hit his head. See if we can scare him out of there. Stressing though. He has every reason to be stressed. 
every reason to be stressed. Oh, uh, that's gonna kill him, I think. Nope. Oh, we got a head hit, though. Yes! Alright, who's going? This guy. No. Who's going? That was 10. This guy's going. Yeah, you better run. That could be a kill here. Commander. Can we get far enough over to... We can't see his back. Oh well. I don't necessarily like moving in like this when that thing's got a LRM, but we've got really good evasion, so... I feel pretty confident about getting in on this guy. And we might have a good chance of getting a um, initiative on this guy next turn, so... Uh, let's keep the heat, though, to a minimum if we can. All right, one hit. Yes, Commander. Okay, you're up. If we do that, he can get behind us too. Let's try it. Try and end this quickly if we can. Mm, not the best, but. We got a lot of stuff to fire, so let's just fire it all. His large laser's down too. Firing a full salvo. Nah. No short range missiles remain. We tried. Huh. Scary. Commander. Scary not. Alright. Location confirmed. Get over here. Hopefully if we move slow enough, he'll become attractive for the, uh, this urban mech. I, I don't even know if that rifle hit. I think it did. Go for the Cloud Buster, interesting. I'd like Showing to know how they, they choose their target selection. Waiting on you, Commander. Because, I mean, I mean, I guess it's kind of a smart play to go for the Cloud Buster, but there's still things that I think are easier to hit. Let's go this route. There we go. See ya. Did you see that? Did you see it? Oh, I saw it. Couldn't do that against the bigger boys, though, could you? Gotta wait till his back's turned. Alright, firing. Oh, an MRM-30. Uh, never mind. <laughs> he, he had an MRM-30. Might be worth taking the parts for that because we've got, um, urban mech parts and we can put one together and hope we can get an MRM-30 off it. See if we can get him to bail out. Got no weapons, buddy. By. Just cash it in. Rolling. Just cash it in. Decide that it's the end of your day. All the Come on. Bail out. I think I hit something good. Not today, I guess, eh? Orders. It's gonna take us forever to kill the standard. It's like, I, I get so frustrated because I just want these things out of the game. For me, it just slows things down. X-Pulse is nice, though. Ooh, we got two hits. X-Pulse hitting one of the medium lasers. I hear you. And at least we're uh, getting the water here cool ourselves off when we blast them. I'm just going to throw everything on. Hopefully the sensors will land right on top of them. Three points.
That's actually not bad. Although this guy does have the targeting computer in his head now. Um, well, he's got the fire control system flak, the range finder, but he's also got the, uh, what's it called? Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's the uh, Mark III optics, comp op uh, optics thing. All right, a couple of SRM hits. Like, nine points, nine points, nine points, nine points. Roger. Like, really? Just gonna waste my time, are you? Let's not go too overboard. I just want this guy to punch out. Ooh, leg hits. Come on, bail. SRMs are out. What now? 28. See if we can get him to bail. Right. Goes to leg. So this should be his second wound, I think. Oh, he's gone. Waiting for orders. All right, get around over here. We'll shoot our own guys in the back. Give them a target to shoot for. That's actually pretty good. Confirm. Nothing. No joy. Nothing but disappointment. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's get over here. Moving out. Should put the LRMs in proper range, right? Nope. Apparently not. Fine. Tell me what to shoot. Oh, we did three more points than last time. Commander. Just stay Commander. away from them. If they get close, it could be a problem. So in case you wonder why the X-Pulse hey. has no problem hitting, it's because the its preferred uh, target is the actual uh, uh, battle armor. So it gets, I think, a plus four bonus or something like that. It gets a big bonus against its preferred target. Yes. That and machine guns Fire get a bonus yes. against these battle armor. Yes, Commander. But honestly, they're just more annoying than anything. Especially when you've got a large battlefield. And you think you've killed all the enemies. You're like, well, what's where's the last guy? And then you realize it's a battle armor and you gotta, like, spend, like... 20 minutes of real time trying to get to where he is to kill him <laughs> and then take you know five or ten minutes of time shooting at him continuously knowing that you're not going to die it's just a matter of time before he dies but it's like and then they do a couple of points here a couple of points there and it's just more armor that you've got to repair for no reason and it's just frustrating And of course, it's, if it's the clan versions, then they've got the hard gel and they're repairing their armor and internal structure every time you're hitting them. It's just... Anyway, that's my personal opinion. They should just be... There should be a little checkbox that turns them on or off. I know Protomex, there's a, uh, a checkbox to turn them on or off, and I leave them off. Right, Commander. Alright, two of the battle armors are down, looks like. Maybe three of them? Oh, one of them. Even though two unit destroyed things came up, it's only one of them. Let's get to the side, get a little bit of a flank bonus on them. Not much, but we'll try it. Couple points damage. Yes, Commander. Fire everything. Copy that. Of course. Just shoot him. Let's end this guy. Locked up. Short range missiles are out. What they should do is have like area effect weapons do more damage against these guys too. So things like mortars or Light damage, Commander. you know artillery or things like that, they just do more damage. I'm your spaniel. Just to give you another option to be able to kill them. Got it, Commander. So you don't have to have like a mech with like pulse lasers and machine guns. On my system. Well, chasing these no. guys down. So frustrating. Grenade. 
Critical hit, Commander. Commander. Like they should, um... Firing on target. The other thing too is they maybe they should come up like have less hit points and a little bit better weapons, but be mech ca uh, carryable so you can add, like they they basically like have a like I know that the clans can carry elementals into battle, but there should be like a uh, maybe things are looking up. one of the slots I hear you. that you can use you no know sweat. that carries that will carry a group of elementals that way at least you can carry them up to the front line, you know. Oh, the, the large laser hit, of course it did. When I shoot you, you'll take it. All out of short range missiles, Commander. Longest part of the battle is killing the battle armor. That's hilarious. That's a miss. It is. Oh no, here they come. For six points of damage. And some of these things, the weapons are like, they run out of, like, you've, you've got like three or four shots in the in the weapons, and then like the ammo's out, and you're like, what? <laughs> Why even put it in the field then? Like, I know it's a flavor thing, and I, I know I called for it a while back, it'd be kind of cool to have elementals in the battle, but the fact that they're so slow is just, I'm ready. it's a game killer. Maybe increase the speed by like, Give them an extra 100% speed or something just to give them a bit better. On my way. Like the ability to get into the battle? I don't know. <sighs> Waiting on you, Commander. All right, see if you can get the large on him again, Griff. Roger that. Firing on target. Like I'm hey, not even moving. And it, it's so impossible to hit these guys. Got it. Like, I get that they're super small. But at the speed they're moving, you should easily be able to track them and target them. Because it's no different than targeting a vehicle. Especially like a scout car. You know what I mean? Like a scout car is roughly the same size. Here's me, bitching and complaining, bitching and complaining, that's what I do best. Firing. That did not hit. Orders. Yeah, there's got to be some way to do it. Because there's realism, I get that. You're trying to make it a little bit more real, I, I totally get that. And I'm 100% on board with trying to make it as real as possible. But then there's like mechanics, right? Where you're never going to get it real, so how do you make it playable? I mean, at least let them surrender because look at, I mean, I guess. Why is he not bailing out it with nine points left? I guess he's just suicidal. Yeah, the game is rigged. That's exactly what I was saying. What? No. Oh, come on, this game is rigged. Like, all of a sudden, I have no chance to hit them. Maybe it's because there's less of them? I don't know. Like, I don't... No, there's no point in even moving. <laughs> it's just getting harder and harder to target these guys. Maybe it's because they're out of the sensors, I don't know, but... I highly doubt it. 94% good. There we go, finally. My god. So painful. 100 bucks says I get as much salvage out of that thing as I possibly can with my roll. Mission successful. Yeah, just thinking about it as we were loading back in here. What can be done with battle armor? And I, 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 I'm not a programmer, so I can't really tell what the best way to do it would be. But is if you give them like an ability like cling, let's say, so their initial their initial move would be to cling onto one of their friendly units, 
and they would move to a point where they're like, let's say at medium range, and then they would uncling and drop down in the battlefield and then fight. So they start off clung to something, whether it's a vehicle or a mech, right? And then that mech or vehicle moves into combat and is doing its thing. And then at when it when the battle armor reaches a certain point or if the mech is being fired on, it unclings and drops and then will engage in combat, right? But then it's like, but then if it's close to a mech but can't get into range with somebody, it will cling and attempt to get closer to the enemy. You know what I mean? I think that would be kind of a cool little dynamic. And then you could use it. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I'm going to grab both of those. You could do it so that um, the cling ability also works against enemies. So, like, the, one of the things that... Um, the elementals were obviously famous for was jumping on a mech and basically ripping it apart right with their hands so they get close the melee ability is insane so you have the, the same idea where they can cling to an enemy mech and then you no longer that that particular mech no longer has the ability to target them because they're stuck on the guy right he can't do anything so then you'd have to try and shoot them off so if they do get close they're just brutally um uh, savage i think that would be kind of cool but I'm going to grab three pieces of this Urban Mac as much as I uh, don't necessarily want to because I really want to try and get that MRM-30. Didn't get any ammo either, which really sucks, but we'll take this and we're probably going to get it most of this anyway. Yeah, we got all of it, so it doesn't matter what we took. All right, let's sell some stuff. Uh, let's hang on to the 60 cores in case I decide to put the Urban Mac together. We can get rid of that and that. The heat sinks can go. Um, doubles are staying. The armor can go. That, those All those weapons will stay. Jump jets can go because we've got a bunch. Basic sensors can go. You can go. You can go. Oop. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. It scrolled just as I went to go click on the other one. There's no way to get that back, eh? Damn it. Ah. That really sucks. Well, at least we got a full 8Q as well. Um, yeah, man, that really sucks. Oh, well, not much we can do about it now. Well, I gotta say, we've been getting super lucky with our rolls lately, so hopefully next episode, I mean, we got a few... Let's have a quick look here. We do have the ability to jump, but, I mean, we could... That's probably gonna be two and a half lances, maybe three. I don't know if we've got the juice for that just yet. That's a duo duel. Yeah, I just don't think we got the juice for that either. I mean, we would use the Cephalus probably and the Talos probably, but I don't think we've got the firepower for that because these are going to be two good max, right? So, although there is this destroy base, which might actually work out for us. So it'll be turrets plus, plus a lance probably, but at two skulls, I don't know, man. It depends on what the turrets are. If we get hit by artillery, we're in trouble. Uh, this one's a recovery mission. I mean, we could pop in and use the cephalus to grab what we need and get the hell out. Because that's, that's at least two lances. A two and a half skulls, though. I don't know. It's tricky. Escort will be an easy one. Maybe we just take one of these next time. That's, we have to escort somebody. And this one is... Local government. Well, what are we doing? How are we doing here for uh, faction rep? We're a little over halfway through liked. So not bad. Or we're halfway through liked. So a couple more missions for them, I think. We'll solidify that. Now, um, let's just quickly go to uh, the mech bay real quick. Nice to see you down here and go to storage. I want to see if I can put some of those guys together to get some components. Come on. All right. So um, so the R68 was the MRM version. So let's ready that one. I was convinced that the R68 was the mortar version, but... 
Maybe it's the 67 is the mortar version. Let's just take the regular R60 parts. And confirm that. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Thank you. Thank you very much. MRM30 with two tons of ammo. We'll bring the 8Q forward too. Ready that one. That mech you asked for. And then we'll bring the 5S Commando, which is the one that had the endo steel and everything. Artemis fire control system. SRM launchers. So hopefully we get some some Artemis ammo. So we'll bring that forward. Um, we should bring all these forward. Let's ready the Stinger, see what we can get from that. that mech you wanted is back on and the Commando, it's the 5S that we want. And we'll use the 1A pieces, which I think, yeah, right here. It's the cheapest ones. Confirm. That mech is ready to fight. So, I mean, it's a lot of garbage lighter mechs, but we're going to get rid of them all anyway. So, there's nothing else that we want really here. Okay, vase. Let's see what we get here. So, um, wow, that's actually pretty good. So, the Stinger first. Let's re refit this guy. It doesn't look like there's much left here. Yeah, not much left. A couple of, uh, a jump jet, a heat sink. AMS ammo. Oh, the AMS. We got the AMS. That's not bad. Okay, so that was worth it. Go ahead and scrap that. 37,000. So we got the AMS now. Uh, let's go with the f this one first. Just to see what this gives us. If anything. So, oh, we got the double heatsink kit. Oh my god, that's awesome. And double heatsink. PPC Donnell. Another double heat sink. So that was worth it. I'm glad I'm glad we got this so that I didn't feel like too too bad for, for getting rid of it in the salvage. But we don't need this guy, so I'm gonna go ahead. Well it's a 30 tonner, three lasers. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drop this guy. Drop this guy. Scrap it. Fifty grand, not bad. And then the commando. Doesn't look like there's much left here either. We have the Artemis system. Ah, oh, nothing. Some heat sinks. Well, we had to try. We had to try. Scrap it. All right, now the, this this one here will be interesting. So jump jet. Didn't get the MRM. Got nothing out of this really. Oh, that sucks. Well, not much we can do. We did pick up a few things, which was nice, so... And a bunch of C-bills. So that will end this episode for today. Uh, I was hoping to get that MRM-30 and maybe try it out in the Talos, but uh, no luck today. All right. Um, hopefully we can find something good like that in the next episode. Going to end it here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.